Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First Mate Drakir, at your service. And welcome to Rayman 2 The Great Escape. This game... <laughs> this game is quite something, isn't it? Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is basically the game that really launched the Rayman series into... Uh, yeah, what would you even call it? No, <laughs> this this is really the landmark with the Rayman series, which all of the rest was built on. Because the first Rayman game was good, but it was also hard as balls, so nobody ever finished it. <laughs> yeah, I can confirm. Even my mother and brothers couldn't confirm as well. So it was one of the few games he actually tried to play. And I, I've brought and this up multiple. Go ahead. Uh, I was saying, even, even when she had been out, found out with two of my brothers, they gave up on it about uh, how how perfect you need to get the good ending. And when I told my mother, she just felt, yeah, she also just gave up on it. And yeah, It isn't a bad game, it is still a good game. It's only uh, <laughs> the further you go, the, the less desirable it becomes to play. But, uh, yeah, and yeah. A lot of things areas will get stuck on. I'm, I'm pretty sure Josh Strive Hayes has a video on Ray, on the original Rayman that people can check out to see what exactly makes it a good game, save for, well, being hard as balls as it goes on. But enough about that, uh, let's actually talk about Tonic Trouble, which, well, <laughs> is a game that was always advertised along with this one. And there's a simple reason for that. Uh, <clears throat> Tonic Trouble is basically Rayman 1.5 because yeah I've talked about it multiple times but instead of jumping immediately to 3D with uh, one of their big franchises uh, Ubisoft back in the day instead uh, made a new uh, little game which they used as a test bed for 3D platforming and with the lessons they learned from that they made this game Makes sense Yeah not more sense than you'd think, because a lot of people did, <laughs> back in the day, jump directly into 3D without actually knowing what the hell they were doing, leading to uh, a good collection of 3D <laughs> games that people did not like. Yeah, <clears throat> there was a situation that some people wanted to keep 2D as such, but then were forced by, well, whoever they were working for, to change to 3D due to popularity. Yeah. <clears throat> but they fully only knew that but we are not ready for this. We don't have the equipment. I don't care. Do it. Uh, okay. And yeah. disaster from there. Like Bob C3D. But um, enough about gaming history. <laughs> wait. I think I'm pretty sure all Bob C are meant to be bad. I. <laughs> I hope not. Oh yeah. Let's get started. I'm using a controller with this, even though this is the GOG version of the game. And Holy no, crap. the big back bar on the bottom is not a mistake. That is like that. I barely recognize the icon. Rayman, look what the pirates have done to our world. A planet of anguish and pain, haunted by evil. A dark place teeming with fierce monsters. Nothing can stop them now that they've captured you. They've taken everything and reduced our people to slaves. The robots search for innocent prey. In the chaos, they explode the heart of uh, yeah, the heart of the world. The thousand lumps of energy which form it have been scattered. We are getting weak. Soon, it will be too late. You must escape, Rayman. You are our only hope. I, w I kind of want to put it in a uh, You Are Only Hope, Obi Wan Kenobi, but I don't think I can do it with Rayman's name. <laughs> the Buccaneer, the Pirates' prison ship, Commander, the Admiral Razorbeard. Is that quite a name? 
and I think that talks for itself. Wake up, Rayman. I have sent you help. Despite this game's age, the animation is really smooth. Yeah. Yeah, for a game that came out in 1999. <laughs> 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 The old Trojan horse trick. <laughs> There's just something nice about just seeing him go from utterly depressed back to normal. Okay. The subtitles are very quick. Yeah, yeah, there is a there is a one of the ports at least of this game has actual English uh, voice acting, but I think most people <laughs> agree that they rather have to babble. Uh, and well, let's escape. Wait. You're called a babble. <laughs> yeah, that's a one word. It sounded like sounded like French. <laughs> Like there were some of them were part of French words there, possibly. And like they said the Lila Fay, which means lead the fairy, <laughs> yeah. if I remember right. And I'm pretty sure most of the spoken things is actual gibberish, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if they put in some uh, French words here and there because Ubisoft is, or at least was, a French company. And here we go, full control of the camera, moving around, jumping, shooting. And in the original Rayman, Rayman would throw his fist, but in, now he just throws <laughs> energy. What Hi, the... Rayman. <laughs> and this is Murphy. Hi, Rayman. Glad to see that you escaped. I'm Murphy, and I'm here to be your guide. You see that stone right next to us there? It's a magic stone which can read your thoughts. If you press, if you need some help, pass close to a screen, and I'll quickly appear in your mind to help you. If my advice sounds confusing, stay next to the stone and uh, keep F1 pressed. I will appear and repeat the instructions. And he's off. Wait. Was that Eddie Murphy? No. <laughs> I, I'm, I think I've heard some talk about that Murphy is partially inspired by Eddie Murphy, but uh, nothing anyone would actually confirm, of course. <laughs> well, they both smile quite big. <laughs> and that was by accident. Great, you've just smashed a pirate cage. Destroy lots of them, they're full of energy. What's more, you see that bright sphere there? That's the yellow lung. Gather a lot of them. They'll give you access to secret places. And they'll teach you all the secrets of the world. Take the lum and hold the J down, you'll see. And instead of J, I can just press B to bring up, well, the stats. Rayman's health, the amount of lums that we've gathered and how many there are in a level, and how many cages there are to smash. As it is, I think they really took advantage of making it more cartoony, for making it look smooth and well, since during this age, if you want to be do as ultra realistic, yeah, it will look disastrous. Yeah, the same. It's the same thing with uh, Wind Waker. Uh, by 
quote unquote downgrading the graphics to a point where they still stylistically look very well, they could use more processing power for everything else. And yeah, as is obvious, the orbs that uh, Rayman shoots, they bounce around a bit. So we can attack around corners if need be. What the heck is that? <laughs> yeah, these are the mosquitoes. These were actually enemies in the first game. But now uh, they're not much of a bother. But that's why they look so familiar with rage. Oh, we missed a lum. I think me and most of my friends really hated them. Uh, yeah. If we double, if we try to double jump, instead uh, Rayman will use his hair as a hel helicopter to slow down his descent. <laughs> okay, now I believe. Yeah, the last lumps should be up ahead, but uh, there's also those little guys. So let's go say hi. is the one with some French throw in there, but the other ones were definitely gibberish. Yeah, and uh, really? those little guys are Glowbox's kids, and let's just say that he is a prolific uh, father. Oh dear. I'll bet you'd like to know how to climb. You see those two walls? Go stand between them, press A to jump again, and jump, and A again to grab on. Repeat this maneuver until you've reached the very top. And off you I just, I just noticed that Murphy's voice and I did not like it. Yeah, it's a whisper. Yeah, that's... That, that kind of whisper with that face actually comes off as... creepily unnerving. Yeah. And we've gotten all five of the lums in this area. So, yeah. <laughs> in response to that, uh, Rayman will <laughs> get very excited. And this is the second cage. You and every one of you looks alike. But some of these, uh, you have to press a button to continue yourself. So I hope I'm giving enough time to at least read what they're saying. And yeah, the thing with the teens is, is that they've been locked in there so long they've forgotten who their actual damn king is. dive in there, huh? Oh dear. Yeah, I guess some of these we, uh, 
we can try to read, but we actually allowed to read it. Though, the text is pretty big. Yeah, big enough for even you to read it on OBS there. Actually, yeah, only it gets pixelated. But yeah, I can read it. <laughs> Rayman, you are now in the Hall of Doors. From here, you may enter many new worlds. Use the, well, the <laughs> use the controls to place the lum on the door of your choice, and press A to jump. Now hurry and rescue Lee. She is being held in the fairy glade. Yeah, this will be our level select, and I must say I quite like this. It's it's a bit like the Rayman. It's a bit like the uh, Super Mario 3 Overworld, but more well 3D and in closer with more detail. Yeah, it has some good music here too. Yeah. In general, the, the game, it, the, yeah, the music in the Rayman games is pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Fairy Glades. 50 lumps, 7 cages. Yeah. It, it does sound familiar, but still good. Also, we can go back to the Hall of Doors if we get close enough to the portal again. Oh dear. That's for now. Use that to, <laughs> to jump up here. Jump again to go back down. And yeah, we don't want to fall into whatever the hell that is. It looks like water, but it, at the same time, it doesn't. And hello, the kitties. Hurry up, Rayman. We want our daddy back. Okay, that's blocked off. So, well, only one way to go then. And the camera obviously wants us to go that way, so actually let's go the other way. Because I hear something here. Yeah, you can hear the cages by well, the, the cries for help and the swinging. Uh, we'll have to I... check if there actually is something be hidden behind there. Does that the camera with red X mod just tell you you can't use the camera? Yeah, you can't turn it there. And at the moment, the camera is trying to push us back to forwards. So let's actually go this way then. Um, don't eat those. No promises. Swimming not advised. <laughs> Especially with these things here. Ooh. Luckily, if we do get hurt, we can you pick up the red lungs. If you need energy, collect some red lungs. There was a green one earlier, but I forget what they do. And we're not entirely helpless against these things. <laughs> but I think they will respawn after a time. Alright. We have quite a bit to do. And... Well, big ass switch, of course you're going to hit it. <laughs> I don't think there are any or many time puzzles in this game. But always a good thing yeah, good thing to keep in mind. And where is this cage? I can very clearly hear it. Ah, there it is. It's a bit further up than I thought. Go. Okay, just some lungs. So, oop. I think one fell down. Now the lungs get automatically attracted to you if you're close enough, I think. Is that someone? Someone. Oh. Not too bad for them then. Oh, oh, now I remembered. Yeah, grab the green lungs. If you die, you'll reappear where you last took one. The checkpoints. Okay. And, well, this here you can well, discover that Raymond will actually slide along water flows like that. If they're not too deep, of course. Alright, moving on. I, I must say it's just an absolute pleasure to play this game again. I, I haven't played it in years, but I still remember a lot of it. That's usually a good thing. Yep. Okay, red lung here. That is the way forward, I believe. So let's actually head over here to this barrel. 
because I remember this barrel. You stand on it and just start moving. And this should bring us to a few lums, I think. That's the camera a will big stop barrel. Fighting. Yeah, there it is. One yellow lum. And then we can just get off here. That All right. Sound. Oh, it's some form of sludge. Yep. <laughs> Swimming not advised, remember. Yeah, yeah that one was area. only for the piranha thing. Let's see, what have we here? Oh, hello. Yeah, these things we don't want us touching. I don't think there's actually an, ever an explanation for what the hell those are, except for bad news. So, up we go. I don't think they can climb. Um, maybe not climb, but they might be able to fly. All the more reason to get out then. No, then. I th I'm trying to remember what platforms this game was released on originally. I, th I think it was at the very least on the PlayStation, but maybe even the Dreamcast. Um, this is a 99 game, so it is old. Oh, so not GameCube then. Nope. Though it might have gotten right. a port to that eventually. Yeah, oh right, the Rayman 3 came to the, to the GameCube and Wii as such. Yeah, we'll get to that game eventually. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that it's only recent years I got to learn about Dreamcast. Like, did it even get released in Europe? Um, hmm, good question actually. Yeah, for when I were looking up about the lore about Soul Calibur not many years ago. Then I came across Dream because I was wondering, wait, the Soul Calibur 1 came out on Dreamcast? What? For we had Soul Blade, the first of them all. We have a PlayStation 1, then came Soul Calibur 1. Okay, but, we missed a the cage there. Oh dear. And here we go with our first real enemy. The robot pirates. Oh dear. Right, I was saying, it was, uh, that's how I learned that there was actually existing uh, Soul C uh, Calibur 1 for. We had Soul Blade, then Soul Calibur 2. We wish we were always confused. Why did they change the name to 2? Why not Soul Blade 2? I mean, just probably realized that they were basically the same game. And then many years later, I realized oh, the first Soul Calibur was on the Dreamcast that no one have ever heard of. Yeah. Nope, this is still chucking barrels at us. But, but yeah, we just have to get it to uh, break open the... F <laughs> the grates. Oh. Uh, wait, was it Dreamcast Sega's last console or something? Um, pretty sure no, that's not the case. Um, well, hmm. Dreamcast was not Nintendo. I don't know if it was their last, at least. I'd have to check that uh, out. It, it might be the last. I mean, I think about it. I think I heard about something like that. After Dreamcast, they just gave up on their own console. They just went to support other consoles and, and PC and such. It could be, maybe. Uh, I'm not, I know a lot about video game history, but I'm not, not a video game historian. <laughs> yeah, wait. Oh, yeah, I think it was called Sega Dreamcast. Yeah. This okay. might explain what is not many know of it since it might have flopped. Uh, yeah, simple <laughs> doors with simple bandages on them we can just break open ourselves for bigger patches. We uh we have to bring in the bigger guns. Careful there are oh, lots dear. of pirates in the area. There's a good chance to have to fight one. Move around during combat, press control. This will allow you to keep your enemy targeted. 
and make it easier to avoid his shots. On the controller that I'm using, it's the trigger buttons. Uh, yeah, first actual combat. They, as you can see, they do get some invincibility frames, and we have a health bar for hit, for them downstairs. And they aren't stupid. They will try to lead their shots, even like you can see there. Which means you have to keep moving around. And yeah, speaking of bigger patches, we can't break this one. And this one we can just avoid if we don't run around too much. We can pick these up by just getting near them. And let's see. I re I remember that we can that you can throw these forwards and up. Okay. If I press A, it goes up. So if I press X, there we go. And that's a cage for us. We're a big lum. All right. Let's try and not wake this one. Well, <laughs> immediately fail. Just gonna circle and keep shooting. There we go. Yay! Now we we were basically required to kill him because he was in front of the uh, the net that we needed to climb. Oh, some lumps. Curious about these robots. Are, are they like uh, necrons or something? Uh, in a way, I guess. In a way, you guess it. You mean you know that means that they're actually living souls inside machines, right? Yeah, not in that way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and this is our introduction to these beams. Of course, you don't want to get touched with them. I do I don't think they will kill you, but they will of course hurt. I was aim well, I was aiming for the switch, but very much just wanted to knock this guy in the, f in the forehead whilst he slept. But I do think there will be a more of an explanation given for the origins of the pirates later on. For now, let's just focus on not getting burnt up. I hope I expect you to die on that on first try. Well, we can't cross this. Let's see. But... This is where Lee is kept. Free me, man. Free me, Ray, man. Find the machine and destroy it. And that machine is this way. And this is where it will come in handy, that knowing that you can throw the barrels up in the air. Yes. Like Murphy says, to throw it high, press A. To throw it forward, press space. In the on controller's case, A remains the same. And X, throw forward. And yeah. That's why we want to throw these things upwards, because they have a little security system in place here. Okay, that is nice. For In all the you have to just prove it the way you put it down. Yeah. That, that's a... Yeah, that's kind of nice, a nice little detail that you also see in, uh, like, the movies and such. Now, I don't... I don't remember any other game where... You can just throw stuff in the air to <laughs> not have to deal with it for a moment. Yeah, me either. Like, you can throw stuff away and put it down. Yes, but just throw it up. <laughs> Shoot and catch again. Yeah. Probably only this game, as far as I know. Yeah, if we do move, I, it will probably explode on our heads. So <laughs> let's not do that. There we go. And here she is. Hey, 
And like she says, we can now use the purple gem, purple gem, purple lumps. <laughs> yeah, and I just realized some of them have eyes, so I guess yep. they are sort of fairies. <laughs> to grab onto the purple lumps, shoot them to let uh, to let go. Press A. <laughs> we will see plenty of those. Oh, yeah, actually, <laughs> sorry, go on. Uh, you can go first. I was say, were you the one pressing the arrow button to continue them speaking? Uh, yeah, I was just pressing what well, any button should do. Hmm. Would that basically mean be actually able to read it out loud for once? Uh, if you want, yeah. Yeah, I, I suspect some people, since we usually do it, or you usually do it. Yeah, uh, this, since this game has voice acting of its own in a sort, I'd rather not. Uh, I'd rather let the game speak for itself. But if you want to voice it, go ahead. Uh, oh, bloody heck, I think I would be dry mouth for all that. <laughs> but I should yeah. probably do it at some time. But yeah, Lita Fairy is quite the fan favorite, even though she only appears in this game and Rayman. M slash arena. That is the only two appearances that she's made in the entire series. So okay. yeah, people <laughs> people want her to return <laughs> at some point or another. And I think in the original plans for Rayman 4, there were actual plans to bring her back, but well that game never released. Sadly enough. Okay. Wait, what would it be awesome if Rayman 4? Uh, there's, there's Rayman 2, there's Rayman 3, and then came Rayman Origins, and then Rayman Legends. There, oh. You could count Ray Origins as Rayman 4, but the original plan for that was another 3D platformer, like, well, 2 and 3. Ah. And, not to say that Origins and Legends are bad. I I quite I just I love Legends. I actually have that game on like three different platforms. And still I think a lot of the fans would have uh, would still want a new 3D uh, Rayman game. All right. Uh, you want to do the voicing or shall I? Uh, you do it. Yeah. I'll take out voice whenever Murphy speaks up, and you can pick what other, what characters you want to voice then. Oh dear. <laughs> you see these air currents, Rayman? Activate your helicopter in them and you'll fly. Also, nicer cock cam, Rayman. 
But really, what was up with that angle? Oh, that was an awkward angle indeed. What the heck? And yeah, air currents, helicopter moves, of course, going to flow, yeah, fly upwards, if slowly. So we just have to move from one to the other. And yeah, the, the plan at the moment that I have for streaming is that we'll do Rayman 2, of course, during the main days when possible. Um, after we're done with this game, we'll pick up something else, another of the games that I grew up with, and then we'll do Rayman 3. Then we repeat that, that I do another game, you know, other game. And after that, we move on to Origins, another other, and then we go to Legends. Sense? Okay. I... Hmm. If my memory is correct, this is actually the end of the level, perhaps? I know there are some cages that you can only get to with powers that you unlock later in the game, I think. And yeah, we are missing quite a lot of lungs, as is now. I don't... There isn't actually anything for getting all 1,000 of the lungs. But you do get... I do recall that there are benefits to getting a bunch of lungs. I f just forget what exactly that is. And yeah, here's the last one. Lung juice? <laughs> oh wait, no, I think you're plum juice. <laughs> yeah, that comes to, yeah, that comes into play in the next game. For now... Plum juice? Yep. Oh dear. For now... Oh. We have a box to whack around. Let's break the cages. The energy will make you less vulnerable. Oh right, that... If you break enough cages, you get a health upgrade. Nice! Uh, what the...? <laughs> um... Okay? Ah, oh, sad Raymans. Bonus level, access denied. Okay, that is what we get access to for getting 100% in each level. And I, rem I remember what the bonus levels are, and uh, I don't think people like them too much. Uh, hello? The Marshes of Awakening. Uh, I think it's hungry. And, well, this is quite the scene change, huh? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, let's head this way first. People who know this game will know where I'm walking right now. The Marsh Monster? What the... Yeah, those are zombie chickens, and uh, hello there. Yeah, the first big sign that we'll have to backtrack eventually. Yeah. It would be nice if the text went move slower. I, mean, I could at least attempt to read that out loud, but I couldn't read it mentally, not speak it. Yeah, I hope for most people that would watch these streams, that would be enough. Yeah, at least the text is massive. <laughs> it, it, and yeah, this, <laughs> this water, well, it's not, not exactly an instant kill, but it will just zap you back to the last piece of... Uh, <laughs> solid ground. And that was the first bit of damage that we've actually taken so far. It surprises me. <laughs> Which I guess means you're very good at this game. 
Yeah, pretty decent. It isn't it isn't Dark Souls hard, but it is pre can get pretty tough later on. And hello there. tail at this point. Oh, well, I now realize that I could read that out for you. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we, we have a bit of a jet ski part. <laughs> you, you don't mean the jet ski snack part? Or, it, it, is it snack you've called it nowadays? Snack. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we fail, we get reset. So this part can get pretty tough for people. We can just move aside, up, jump up and down to get some air. Oop. Trying to avoid getting hit because, well, getting hit will get us killed. Yep. And I just realized it is a pun. Like, yet skating and he's yet snaking. <laughs> okay, we might be at this for a bit because this actually goes on for quite a while. Yay, uh, then. Um... I don't actually remember if there are any checkpoints. <laughs> so oh. let's see if third time is the charm and how did that miss me? <laughs> By a millimeter? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, those things, they're, well, there's... They are more like ghosts, but they're actually, cons they're actually called zombie chickens, born from rotten eggs, <laughs> of all things. Oh, missed um, one of the lums. Do we get another pass? Yes, we get. There we go. It's pretty generous with that. Or it was going... Okay, I can't tell if it was looping us around. Okay, there is a checkpoint. I can't tell if it was looping us around... Oop. Until we got all of them. <laughs> or if it was going to... Ah. <laughs> if it was going to... Oh, leave there all the... Same... Ooh. <laughs> Okay, don't ask me how I dodge those. Ow. Nom, okay, nom, second nom, chance. Nom. <laughs> oh dear. Right, while you do this, I just gonna throw some food into the machine. So, yeah. Try not to die. <laughs> no promises. Oh, we actually did get the lump there. Okay. Missed one. Oh, hello. It really... <laughs> he was fishing with a llama. Right. Uh, and... Uh, that's it. Uh... So long. and Come and see me again if you can. I promise I will. I will miss you, my friend. I'm reading it out since... Nope. Since Drakir is <laughs> away for a bit. And yeah, that's the fifth cage. Wait, we do have I'm more back. health now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we have more health now. It's okay. Yeah, still no access to bonus level. Now the save. Uh, yeah, all you really missed was your, your finish. <clears throat> Pardon. <clears throat> was finishing the level and uh, Raymond and Sam just uh, saying goodbyes. Uh, I heard that. I, I kicked my headphones on. Yeah, that's why I spoke it out <laughs> loud so you were aware of what was going on. Oh, thank you. And. 
Meanwhile, pirate prison ship slaves on board 3,000 more than last time. In Razorbeard's private cabin. Really? We want to voice these two, if they're possible. And yeah, he actually eats one of the damn lums, destroying it. Like an apple, oh bloody heck. <laughs> oh, what have we here? Yeah. I, I would try to read that, but that was a little bit... Yeah, false. Yeah, we, uh, when, the, when it's auto-scrolling, we can leave the game to talk for itself. Yeah, sorry folks. Here you can win life force and power. And you have enough lumps to go there. So, little side thing here. <laughs> and yeah, it's a race against Lee. Wait. Oh, she has a tail! Yep. I thought earlier there was part of her uh, that she had a ponytail. <laughs> well, it's still a tail. Oh, missed a few lumps. But, but point taken. Point taking is uh, not the tail of what I was thinking of. Still, I uh, don't like her design. Yep, yeah, a lot of people like her design. It, she's a very mystical creature. She's not a typical fairy. It's certainly not a Sanzara fairy. Well, fairies come with many variations. Like, I, I, I had told you before about the, about the dollar hand. Yeah, the headless one. Uh, which actually is an enemy called the uh, the Headless in the Ultima series, I believe. I'm not surprised. And yeah, we don't actually have to beat her. We just have to, well, beat the timeline and limit. But I do like that she's encouraging us on as we go. Yeah, there's one thing, like, I think I heard about Lee. Though I am a bit skeptical about the information I was given, like... I heard people claim Lee was Rayman's girlfriend or something? Hmm... Could have been just people interpreting things, or maybe in some uh, other media. I don't know if... I don't think there were any Rayman comics of the sorts. It would be pretty curious to see what people could can come up with if they if uh, they did make a Rayman comic. Well, as long as it turn into disaster like the times they tried to make uh, cartoons of Zelda. Well done, Rayman. That was very fast. One minute fifty-one and f sixty-one. <laughs> you make a good hero. To increase your chances, here's some more energy. <laughs> she calls in one of the teenies to open up the exit. Hmm. And yeah, that's a side thing of its own. So we can just go back to this one, which has its own counts. And let's actually double check now. Oh. Steal that thing just shooting a random pathway. Okay. Hmm. It, it might be more for just collecting lumps, I guess, because our health bar didn't actually extend. It, it extended earlier at some point, but I missed when. Typically when that happens, the game gets a bit flashy about it, to draw attention to the fact, but I missed it this time, if it hey, uh, did. I recognize music. This is... If I remember right, this is like New Orleans music. Uh, New Orleans, it, oh, luckily grabbed uh, on there. Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, you know, the more swamp area of America where things some French colonies colonized. Yeah. 
uh, bayou-like uh, music, you could say, because, well, it's a boat bayou. For a moment I thought it was sinking, but <laughs> I guess I was a bit too hasty on that. I, I would jump too in panic. I know some games have that, uh, uh, what I would call a bullshittery. Uh, yeah, these are going to fall underneath, from, away from underneath us, so we gotta hurry. <laughs> We'll have oh, plenty of those kinds of platforms through this game. Yep. Uh, oh, the forget about bonus levels. Like, it's not really a like, common thing to see bonus levels in games anymore, is it? True. Nowadays, so, typically there's hidden stuff. Uh... Yeah, true. No, no, I remember many kids when I was young were when younger had very mixed opinions on bonus levels mostly depending on which game had it they had them and if there was a reason for it but there was quite common that many did find bonus levels annoying yeah now how do we get that chest or not chest cage let's just Okay, those missed. We'll have to we'll have to backtrack for that cage eventually then. Though I'm not planning on going 100% for this game. Yeah, I can understand why. You see, try to remember some criticism like there's some games where you you only had to, like if you wanted to do a bonus level, you had to go complete the task several times. For each time you wanna do it. And if you play it, fail it once, yeah, you need to redo the entire level the same yeah. way again. And then only then to have a horrible odd boost level that may or may not give a good reward or not. So it became rather like I just wanna finish the game and they started to just not bother the collections. Yeah, so Old games were known for hiding stuff, but sometimes it really just wasn't worth the effort needed. <laughs> yeah, especially it was not needed for a good ending. But it was, if it, you need to do all those levels to get a good ending, then you always going to have a neutral or bad ending. That would usually really annoy kids. Yeah. yeah. Simple enough, just to avoid the Donkey Kong barrels. Uh, we can bounce off the top of them. There we go. Uh, I th I'm going to keep an eye on the counter with the cages. I get the feeling it, it's a health upgrade every 10 of them. And luckily enough, the game keeps a track of how many you have had in total. Uh, we are on 15 at the moment, I think. Oop. And the health boss does look bigger than before. Yeah, it definitely is. Come on, Zayman. Check on my food, so don't die. See if you usually work. <laughs> Oop. Uh, hello, new enemy type. Okay. Uh, yeah, I believe this one is actually... Out immune to damage, so we can only run away from them. <laughs> yep, before that happens. <laughs> yep. <laughs> gets through, it gets flattened under a barrel instead. Okay, luckily, what little time things there are in this game, it does uh, speed up the music as you get closer to the end of it. And that's number 16. And I can hear another cage somewhere. Okay. 
Let's actually look for that cage around here. I can hear it. Ah, there it is. Okay, just a little bit out of the ways. There we go. Number 17. So now we can just get out of here and head off to the next level. And many of the levels in this game are rather short, but that also helps with the, well, with the backtracking, since you won't have to go like, through a half an hour of a level just to find one damn lum somewhere. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, let's wait a bit for Drakir to return, because uh, this is what it is an important level. And I do like that as you go through the Hall of Doors, the scenery keeps changing as you go. <laughs> hmm. Let's have a look. How many things have I missed so far? Okay, this one is complete, which is marked in red, making it easier to spot. And we are missing 19 here, 19 lums and three cages. One <laughs> single lum here, come on. Two lums and a cage. And let's double check the race as well. Okay, three lums. Whilst we wait, let me look up a bit of info on this game. And let's see. Da -da -da. I'd already looked up Rayman 2 on the Wikipedia here on my phone. Let's see. 99 platform uh, video game developed by Ubi Pictures and developed by Ubisoft for Nintendo 64, Microsoft Windows, Sega Dreamcast, and Sony PlayStation. Okay. Let's have a little look on the Dreamcast. Da -da -da. The Dreamcast was Sega's final console, which is discontinuation in 2001, marking the end of the company's 18 years in the console market. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, this game was ported to nearly everything about this freaking kitchen sink. Uh, da -da -da. Enhanced remake titled Rayman Revolution was developed for PlayStation 2. Alternate remake, for uh, known as Rayman, Rayman 2 Forever, was developed for the Game Boy Color. And let's see, what were the... Uh, yeah, <laughs> platforms. Dreamcast, Game Boy Color, iOS, <coughs> Windows, hello. <laughs> hello. And then Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation, and PlayStation 2. Yeah. I'm back and I called it. <laughs> uh, welcome back. And this, well, this is our first uh, important level. The Sanctuary of Water and Ice. So, let's just literally dive in. Oh, and now remember, we need the lumps to open uh, doors. You little idiots. What would you call this? That like they they have they democratized their monarchy or something? <laughs> I I I know there's a term royal council, but <laughs> it's a bit tw there's a twist on it. Okay. 
Yeah, we don't get healed between levels, but health lumps are pretty common enough. And you, yeah, hello. Yeah, that <laughs> different robot type this time. Uh, see, if I remember right, the Irish ancient time had like a high king and several lesser kings, like they they replied to the high king, but I forgot what it's called. Nope. I, I even know the dwarves in Warhammer have similar. They have the High King and the other ca Mountain Kings. Uh, Council of Kings or something like that. Yeah, they have that, and they they also have the Council of Elders. All right. Don't mess with the Council of Elders, for when you have a dwarf that's always is lo very long beard and almost seven hundred years old, you. Yeah, don't mess with them, for they're not weak by age. Yeah. <laughs> I Grandpa's with muscles. I remember something of, like that uh, with uh, Marvel. During one of the fights between the Avengers and uh, <clears throat> and Thanos, uh, he tried. From what I hear, he tried to use the Time Stone to. Uh, he, he tried to use the Time Stone to kill them, only apparently as Guardians grow stronger with age, so... <laughs> Thor knocked him the fuck around after he tried that on him. Oh. Ouch. Okay, uh, let's see. How do we swim again in this game? Ah, there we go. The triggers. There we go. Uh, how do I swim up then? Oh, oh, okay. Just, now this. What's going? Uh, is, how do I actually is, move forwards then? Is that a barnacle? And you up, up, up. Yeah, I'm trying to find which button actually moves forwards. <laughs> okay, that's odd. I, so, we know what buttons move, angles Rayman up and down, but not what moves him forwards in the water. Okay. Or, wait, do I just... I have to press forwards. Okay. I don't know if this is the way forwards or the other way is. I'm guessing this is the way forwards. But, yeah. Nope. <laughs> I don't think there's actually any reward with those red lump chains, the timed ones. See? And... Okay, this wasn't the way forward, but it is a good practice on the swimming mechanic. Even if it is a bit odd. Yeah, I'm using the triggers to move... to angle downwards, and the jump button to angle up. And, well, as was shown earlier, if you run out of air, it's an instant death. Well, you more like... Look like you were teleported out of it. Okay. Yeah, the, the game is pretty easy with the checkpoints and such. There isn't a live system. Yeah, that's kind of good for... I think this was around the age where... Kids were really, really tired of old school Nintendo style at... Oh, you lose all three lives. You have to start from the very beginning of the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another one of these diggers. Diggers? Yeah, the previous one kept digging around after we hit them, but this one isn't as smart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and yeah, we can mess with the crafts, but if we get close, they'll sting us. No, no not sting. They, <laughs> they will... Uh, <clears throat> Pinch? Pinch us, yeah. <laughs> hey, up. Just speak. Just speak that it's not by like one of those. Oh, no, I thought it was the coconut crab or one of the other crabs that are huge on land. Yeah, well, getting pinched by any crab is a bad idea. Here's a magic sphere. To grab it, stand in front of it. If you ever, if you want to toss it in the air, press A. To toss it in front of you, press space or X. Put the spheres onto bases of the same color, and the temple doors will open. If you lose one, go back to where you last held it. I'm sure you'll find it there again. 
yeah. These things will just respawn if you lose them. I'm not sure if they will spawn there again if you just uh, leave them alone for a while. But it's always just nice when you can't permanently lose stuff like this. And yeah, it is just a PNG. Like what? It, it's a flat picture. Oh. There we go. So There's a lot of stuff. Called. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in this game that is I still flat, and I don't I don't mind. I think it adds to the charm. It, it isn't everything, but the, the, the few things here that are you know, just flat images uh, is pretty nice. There's a lot of the plants that we passed in the fairy glade were flat. Yeah, like, I like that style when it's flat images. I like, but I like it when it's used correctly. Yeah. So, like, and if you pick one. that up, you should not be able to look at it from an angle where it actually turns just flat. Yeah. Just keep when it, it facing that, the camera. Exactly. If you, if you fail at that, then it actually breaks the immersion, and now you know it's just a... Basically, the illusion is broken. Yeah. Oh, oh come on, Rayman. <laughs> You're supposed to auto-lock onto these things. There we go. And open says a Rayman. Boom. Okay. The last you blame few lunch. Rayman on your bad gameplay, then you make a bad bun. Shame on you. Okay, only ten remaining, and all of them should be in here. Okay. And here we go with a <laughs> a big slide this time. I was the yoke. Are you sure you want to enter the gate of endless cosmos? Um, Got I it. hate it when I'm right sometimes. <laughs> okay, we can't control the camera here, so we will have to keep careful. Uh, let's see there. There will. We were told that there is a button to speed up. I'm not sure if there's one to slow down, except for bumping into stuff like that, of course. Axel, guardian of the sanctuary of water and ice. Follow the purple lungs and shoot the stalactites. And in the meantime, he's just going to keep throwing ice at us. So... And, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, that was ridiculously easy. And who's the next Guardian? Bob? <laughs> Henry? <laughs> Willie? Okay. Uh, <laughs> luckily, you can't fall to your death here. You will just slide back down. And, yeah. Normally, that would be a lot trickier for people, well, a lot younger. Since you'd probably still be struggling somewhat with the controls. Yeah, especially, like, sometimes the games, they, 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 yeah, depending on how old you are, when you, your hands are growing, controls feel different as you grow. And in some cases, that actually is harder, way easier, depending on the game. Yeah. And, well, with the first Guardian gone, we can collect the first mask.
Game over. Not quite yet. I'm so confused. More will be explained later, I believe. For now, we have access to a bonus level. And oh dear. I'm, I'm being torn now if I want, to, if I would want to commission someone to actually make life-size versions of those masks or to just have uh, small <laughs> versions like a bridge magnets. Both have pros and cons. Okay, this pretty little fairy has gifts for Rayman. Help baby Glowblox get to her before the pirate does. It's making rum repeatedly press left and right one after another as fast as you can. Yeah, this is why people do not like these, because it's a button masher. Okay, are we going to start? Since I'm on a controller, that means I have to, well, abuse my controller left and right. And yeah, we are not catching up. Actually, oh, for some reason it takes A and the A and X buttons to, instead of left and right with this. Hey, okay, come on, get a move on, little guy. And yeah. I'm not exactly yeah, not exactly sure what we would get. Uh, oh, we can well we can try again. Okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's see if we can beat them this time. The, the, I'm pretty sure that the later ones in this actually get really freaking tough. That you cannot afford to not be mashing at full speed. Nope. Yep. Mm, well, even with me mashing at full speed, that wasn't enough. So, yeah. Let's yeah. not. M many of them were sometimes a bit unforgiving. They, like, they, how to say, overestimate what people can do. Uh, let's see. I think it was someone's friend that had to buy a new controller due to some game's button mashing issue. Actually, the result that a bot a button broke. Yep, wrong button there. Uh, I was trying to figure out what the hell I, I had to press for the escape button, which apparently isn't tied to any of the uh, con of the controller buttons. And the keyboard, it doesn't seem to be reacting to the keyboard anymore. So that is an issue. I hope we are not freaking stuck in this now. Hmm. Okay, wait. Let me go through the buttons one at a time then, except for X, which would restart us. Y does nothing, B does nothing, A does nothing. The pressing in either control stick doesn't do anything, nor does anything in the D pad. And the shoulder and trigger buttons do nothing as well. Okay, that is odd. Okay, I, ju I just had to tap away from the game and then it let me. 
use the keyboard again. So back to the Hall of Doors. Not sure how we could get into there as easily. Or if we could get back to the minigame there. We'd probably have to finish the level again, but for now... Uh, yeah, the men here hills. 50 lumps and 8 cages. And, yep, I accidentally bumped <laughs> the control stick. This is quite a fun level. And yeah, this level is all about these walking shells, which, well, <laughs> they will just uh, go full kamikaze on you if you let them. Oh, bomb shells. So, okay, now I get that. Now I get it. The exit. Okay. It is possible to tame them, though, like Murphy said. We just have to tire them out. And as you can see, it can go across the, the thorns without exploding. Oh, hello. <laughs> and yeah, we can just ride them and steer them around, uh, but we cannot stop under any circumstance with them. And that's 20, and there we go. Every 10... Our cages, our health get extended. We just did. We just failed to notice it last time. Hey, hey. Nice. Also, I will not call this taming. There we go. Oop. The moment it tires out, you can <laughs> jump on it. And let's see. Space to go faster. Okay. It's X, of course, again. Bye-bye. Bravo, you figured out how to ride the shell. Press space to go faster, A to get off. But you, yeah, you, but you can't get off if it's going too fast. Okay, cage number 21. And uh, let's see, Military Academy. Please respect the need for total silence for the cadet's concentration. Okay, I forgot that you I forgot that you could actually read those signs. If we backtrack to oh, others uh, levels, uh, we should probably check out any that we missed. Then yeah, total concentration, huh? <laughs> Let's see. I I do really like their designs. Yeah, same. They they are not Super unique, but they're more style to them. Yeah. Oh, hello in the chat there, Atreus. Uh, let's see. Hello, Hillian and Drakir. How are y'all? I had this game as a kid. Loved it. Also, please tell me if I'm spelling the car <laughs> wrong. <laughs> You're spelling a very old Norse way for dragon. And it's Drakir, not Drakar. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I've been meaning to hang up some nameplates for the both of us in the <laughs> in OBS. Oop, and uh, I was walking too fast and woke them. <laughs> Luckily, they don't have too much health. No worries, no worries. I she can. I, don't, I just haven't thought that people could uh, misspell my name uh, without a name tag here. So, don't worry, Atreus. Don't, do not worry. You don't need to say sorry. Uh, I, I believe Drakkar with 1k is one of the names for the the longboats or dragon ships. I no, forget no, the uh, specifics. 1k, 1K is more modern way to say dragons in the plural. Yeah, okay. And but if yeah, you this is an like absolute that, great game. You spell it in an old way. Okay, <laughs> camera stuck. <laughs> okay, it got out. Uh -oh. Oh yeah, this is an absolutely great game. And there we go. Uh, wait, you said boats? 
But wait. Hmm. Yeah, or long ship, dragon boat, something of the sorts. Ah, draw quick. Dragon boat, draw quick. Oop. So the big ones were usually called just long boats. Though we do have uh, some. For while some dragon canoe racing here, we just called it dragon ship race. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, though. People were very creative, making them from uh, like Maybe Viking one. long boats to. Well, dry, uh, Viking dragons to Asian dragons alike. And we missed one lump during the entirety of that. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I only played Rayman One as a kid. I not I didn't never played the other Rayman games. Atreus. Uh, yeah, I, I have played this game before. I haven't played the original at any point. And okay, I, we can't get across this. As for racing, it was just basically canoe racing. Oh, I, I don't know why they don't do it anymore. Uh, here's a little something that we haven't been told yet, and I'm not sure if we ever get told it, but if we have a keg and get near a, a torch, it gets lit the hell up and we fly. That feels like that someone should have told you. That's also more like something that might happen accidentally. Uh, I and I think it is at one point I probably explained, or maybe they expect you to experiment and find out or something. But yeah, that is how we can cross some of those bigger places. Oh, hello. Let's see, can we just sneak by you? Can I just say that I also just love their symbol? It's just one of their skulls, which looks somewhat like a, a knight's helmet with branches instead of bones. I think more like a mix of a skull and a cow catcher of a train. Go. Cool. <laughs> it woke up on the last second. You want to voice this one or shall I? I can try. <clears throat> I'm also swollen something bad for me. You get better. I need some life potion. It's hidden near the entrance of the Marshal of Awakening. In a place called the Cave of Bad Dreams. Don't for don't forget that name or else the gods will let you in. It ah. Don't forget your name, or else the gods will let you pass. That thanks, buddy. Now where's my beer? <laughs> and yeah, that actually throws us out of the level because we can't progress without Clark's help. Bloody egg. Uh, right. How do you rank my voice acting there? Uh, certainly not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I try to keep it somewhat simple and fitting without ruining my throat. 
And yeah, I went um, yeah. the character to finish speaking, so I remember try my best to imitate the tone. <laughs> um, Alright, Atreus loves it. Yeah, this is... I th hmm. I'm not sure if there are other cases where we are forced to backtrack. But it yeah, does show us that we can. Let's see. Warning, this is unknown territory. Tourism may be hazardous. <laughs> Razor beard. Hey. <laughs> and yeah, thank you, Atreus. Thank you. I can read your mind. You know the name of this place. You are now ready to enter the cave of bad dreams. But before you come in, I must tell you something. I have hidden a precious treasure inside. You can keep it for yourself if you beat me to it. I'll give you a head start, but don't waste any time. If I catch you, I'll show you no mercy. <laughs> what a charming place. Yeah, this, uh, from all I've heard, this place is the origin of quite a few nightmares for kids. Really? Yep. You'll find out uh, why in a bit. But if, at the moment, I feel like the young me would be able to handle this just fine. Okay. Then again... The young kid as me did not like these games. They were actually more drawn to the more... I have to say... More adult games? More of a... Games that were more intended for older kids or older adults. Okay. Uh, I can certainly remember playing a lot more age-rated games back in the time. Let's just sneak past. Yeah, that, that would not have worked for you for... I uh, already at that age, but this one was meant for... I would have found it extremely boring. Or too shy, it's like... I want to sword, I wanted to kill stuff. <laughs> uh, well, it was around the same time that I played this game, that I played games like Commandos 2, which, well, is a World War II stack, uh, tack, uh, squad tactics game. Yeah, I played more like, uh, like, Boulder Skate and such. And I I was planning on streaming uh, Commandos 2 instead of this game before, but I'm, uh, I'm a bit unsure on how long that game would actually take. I'd probably use a guide to help me get through it quicker. Uh, but still, it is a game that can take quite a lot of time. So maybe we should push that to... Maybe we should push that to uh, our, our weekend games or something. Oh, hello. Maybe. Actually, there is one game as a kid I did bail out on. This other thing was uh, Quake. Okay. That one... Like, do... The games I had limits for could not play for the freaking hours was games like Doom and Quake. Like, when I got a bit older, could play some of the multiplayer ones. But early on, when they were really new, there were probably the few games I could... Uh, yeah, I were... I just uh, could not do it. I, were, I basically froze in fear yes, for some reason. Okay, it do. And yeah, we can beat these things, but they will just respawn on us. So... Let's see. It's kind of funny. I could play Unreal Tournament, but I could not play Quake. Or do we just need to defeat a certain amount of these? Ah, there we go. We just have to beat a certain amount. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, I play Unreal Tournament after Quake thing is so. Yeah, what other games did I play? I did play Heroes of Mighty Magic. Or the skate, and I was like, like, I was more focused on the strategy games than first shooters. And adventure games. Okay. I was not very good at shooters. And Doom and Quake was basically 
shooter horrors for me. Let's see. We need to go find oh. a few spears again. Oh, uh, lovely. It's oh. it's Fornberry Yam. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I recall correctly, we have to carry these or if we have to get the or Yeah, there it is. We have to carry them across these obstacle courses. But yeah, on command, those two will have to... Oop. <laughs> Failed such a simple jump. Uh, on command, those two will have to see... Oop, that's the... Wait, where did that put us? Yeah, oh, uh, wait, wait. here we go. How, how long might Commando 2 take? On how long to beats.com, it's marked as being... Uh, generally taking 20 hours. Uh, but it doesn't say anything if that is with guides or such. Or speedrun. True. It, it, that's, the site generally gives a, an average of how long it takes. So it could, we could end up uh, taking 30 hours or maybe even 40 hours to, to complete that. So we'll just have to, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, yeah, maybe I mean, we maybe we do that more episodic, like we stream one or two levels at a time, then we move on to something else. Maybe. Yeah, probably need some more research sense. Like if it's twenty hours without getting stuck, that would basically mean ten episodes. But if it quickly becomes thirty or forty hours. Yeah, we'd be up to 20 strings. Yeah. Like, it's nothing wrong with the 20 streams, provided the 20 streams are progress. Yeah. Uh, we had one or two streams with uh, Bloodstained, where we made little progress, but in general, we did make progress, I believe. Yeah, even if we didn't make story progress, we at least made the characters stronger. Yeah. This was a good thing, but in games like Commando you describe, I don't know if that's a game you can grind levels on, but no. if not, then oh yeah, yeah then uh, then those delays are not very beneficial. Beside that, you know what to do, but you don't get any extra experience or loot from it. So yeah, that's not really the progress then. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I could just keep a guide on hand to help with, oop, get rid of you, Fuzzy. For when I uh, don't know what to do. I I think in most levels of it, it is generally pretty straightforward. It's just about finding pathways to there with, well, the least amount of resistance. Okay, the last time I used guides were for Digimon, Cybersleuth, and uh, Hacker Memory. But it was a non-spoiler guide, just to make sure I found all memory ups and such. Okay. I will just make sure that I was... I did not miss, miss any loot, basically. And I got uh, a bit pre-warning where a boss was to come. Okay. Here we go. Get rid of Fuzzy, don't get dizzy. And that's a reference to Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, right. That damn thing had this own game. <laughs> Maybe we could oh, stream that sometime. No. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Like, I, while I do have some respect for Mario, I'm, I'm not a fan of Mario. Okay. Like, I did watch some shows as a kid, but I very quickly grew out of him. They surprised many kids and grown-ups today. Like, mm. like, I think I remember many in my class were very confused that I did not like Mario. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm not even really sure what of the game of, with that we could really stream. 
Uh, if we even if we tried. Is there even much story in Mario games? Uh, not really. It's just Peach has been kidnapped again. Go get her ass back. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Okay, and now we're getting to the part I think that people really remember of this level. Uh, actually, I have watched some episodes of Luigi Mansion just to see if I could get into the Mario thing, but... Uh, uh, Luigi's Mansion is quite different from the usual games. Uh, point taken. Uh, what is that sound? D do you remember the video cats? Yep. <laughs> Are you sure? This is something a bit bigger. Oscar? It's the Guardian. <laughs> and off we go. Uh, and <laughs> this would look a bit better in the... Uh, with, <laughs> with a different resolution. <laughs> But yeah, this okay, motherfucker I, I, is right on our freaking tail. Okay, this is a bit unique. <laughs> uh, okay, I can see why some young, very young kids could get nightmares from this. And there we go. That should be that. Except now we have to fight him. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we have to hit these things to make them stop. If they hit each other, they both will drop. And that rhymes. <laughs> yep, we're close enough to jump. And he takes off. Uh, don't forget the loom. Uh, the red ones don't count for uh, the yellow lumps. It's just I, was I, thought it was a, I thought it was yellow you left behind. <laughs> and okay. It looks familiar. Yeah, he does yeah, look wait. somewhat like a beholder with less eyes. Oh, that's it. I was moving off. Right, yeah, this game came probably out way before Monsters, Inc. <laughs> yeah, now that you say it, he does look a bit like Mike Wazowski without <laughs> legs and skeletal arms. <laughs> Oh, it was Mike! I was struggling with his name. Yep. And yeah, most of this fight is just going to be us chasing him around, I believe. How the heck do I think Mike's name was Harold for some reason? <laughs> I was debating, was it Harold? Was it Bob? No, it was Mike. Oh. And I completely forgot he has a very Slavic last name. Nope. Okay, there we go. Just use the skulls for platforms again. Nope, that one almost hit. Okay. Shouldn't be too much more. Since, well, that was the last lum. Let's not fall down and reset this whole thing. Okay, yeah, that should be the end of this fight. Just gotta wait for him to make these platforms again. Yeah, I can see what other things where kids may find this level if you Compared to our characters, he looks actually out of place. Yep. Like. Even art style-wise, he looks different. Okay, just gotta be careful not to let these bump heads. Okay, for a moment I thought... <laughs> yeah, he stops doing this when we are close enough to land on the same platform. 
And with that, he retreats. You can actually choose here. You can take the treasure, or we can reject it. Because we are here for something else, aren't we? Yeah. No, the only question is, would it count as treasure or not? Nope. Okay, I, I think someone, uh, nope. That was a bit sudden. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was supposed to say no treasure for me. Uh, yeah, the entire level was an illusion. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, oh, bye, Megan. Oh, my. Uh, <laughs> wait, would it count as RPG, really? No. Uh, but if you did take the treasure, it would lead to a, a game over. <laughs> what? Like, you seem silly and answer your question before you ask it, uh, Atreus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instant um, game over. Yeah, it, it would cut to a Rayman having grown fat on a tropical island somewhere, <laughs> leaving everyone to die. And I'm pretty sure we can just go back this way. It's uh, we could have gone through the we could have gone through that to try and get that one lum, but let's let's focus on progress more. So here we go, back to the men here hills. And. Yeah, Murphy seems to be ha <laughs> Murphy seems to have lost his short-term memory because he's doing this again. Oh dear. Does why that wish bring with that face? <laughs> and yeah, these things are pretty easy to outrun if you just go in circles. And we do have, we do get a moment to, to steer it around it before it takes off and still get hit in the, in the blast there. Okay. Actually, we can just back outright ignore these two and head straight for the exit. Because we already got the, uh, the cage besides them. And, yeah, in general, I believe there is about... Wait. Did I hear the, the cave noise again? Yeah, not the cave, the caves. Why do we call it caves? <laughs> okay, no, it's busted still. Odd. <laughs> uh, I did not hear it. Yeah, it might have been just that I've played this level so much that I, I just hear the sound anyways. Yeah, I can do it. Uh, sometimes... I suddenly hear my phone ringing and realize it's not ringing. Dude, so that uh, was probably due to when there was a period. Phone cells would not leave me alone. Okay, no lumps on that end. <laughs> Only a blast and a teleport. <laughs> okay, yeah, some of these, uh, some of these walking shell levels can get quite tricky. Luckily, like the rest of the levels, they restart pretty quickly. The only real big problem that you might have with uh, shells might be at the end of the game. 
Oh. I think I have a guess as why. Yeah, they're going to make more obstacle courses with this. Oh. Almost ran straight into that one. And there's that bloody lung we missed. And there we go. Now we just need to give Clark the potion. Uh, actually, we can just... Okay, could ignore you and then you just shoot us in the face. <laughs> it is sort of your job too, but see you later all the same. <laughs> just slide in. Uh, <laughs> Raymond, what was Thanks with that eye? Okay, okay, what was with his eyes there for a moment? <laughs> okay, what is down here first? He looks familiar. Oh. Oh. It looks like this the actual Festus. Festus, or whatever his name was. Hephaestus or something? Uh, a, a character from Warhammer. There was a doctor, but then... Basically, the Empire keeps that secret that he got corrupted by Nurgle for... He got so obsessed, they tried, he was a good man, he really tried to kill people, but it was one disease that he struggled with, and there was very much madness, Nurgle gave him the knowledge of cure for all illnesses, and it turned him mad. And he has now a chaos servant, and he has uh, that kind of, uh, um, what would you yeah. call it? Um, skin beard? Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, he's not exactly a pretty sight. Yeah. There we go, let's Clark in. And uh, that big ass chin of his could be confused with something else. So let's not spend too much time on that. Wait, what? Hey then. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Someone was going to say it sooner or later. I don't want to. Does he. Did he eat much of the robots? Yep. Oh. In, so in the manual, I think it says that he, he ended up like that because he ate one of the, uh, uh, one of the robots <laughs> who was uh, rusty. And that gave him a stomach ache. Oh. Uh. Oh. Ah, even Atreus got on that after a while. <laughs> oh dear. Nope. Didn't hit it enough. Hmm. There we go, 25. Hmm. Then, why is this walking sh Oh, oh, that's why there's this walking shell here. I completely missed that passage. And this is just going to... Let's not try to run into the walls. Oh, hello. There's... Okay, I, I would have missed that one over there. But where did that lump come from? I just mentioned your name, Red, as I saw you messing about uh, your having a bit of slight delay on, uh, yeah, aliens, oh. gutter yoke. <laughs> yeah, that was, a uh, that was his response to the question, you know, oh. Not, oh, okay, my bad, then. The, the early answer <laughs> to his question. <laughs> okay, okay, my bad. That, uh, that's on me, that's on me. Okay, up we go. Yeah, we, we can hit the side. We can hit the sides of walls for a bit, but not too much. If we hit anything head on with the shell, 
it just blows up straight away. There we go. Okay, luckily the, the, the tips of these rocks point out or stick out a bit. So it's easy to see where they will be, well, sticking out. I meant to press the other button to go faster, but oh well. Uh, uh, fifth time's the charm, then? Okay, come on, keep up some speed. Oop. Yep, yep, come on. What is going on? Uh, Obelix's revenge for everyone messing with his men here. Maybe? Yeah, I have some control over the speed in that I can make it go faster, but I can't make it slow down. And even then, the burst of speed is uh, limited. Okay, did I seriously miss that? How? Well, we can get it well, again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was just to say, you cannot get it again. And um, yeah, these are, after all, you're not really taming them, and they're actually just rockets with legs. Yeah. <laughs> Why the hell legs? I don't know. <laughs> because. Well, most of these things in this game are just weird for <laughs> for some reason. And honestly, that adds a lot to the charm, I'd say. No, no, I guess it does allow it to be more controllable. That they can walk and run to where it's needed before it shoot itself off. Yay! Tattooed? Wait, what do you mean be perturbed? I'm not familiar with this word. Actually, I can agree. They're a little bit off-putting for some reason. Okay, we missed one cage and a few lumps. But let's be honest, we don't want to get into the bonus levels because they would, they would just destroy my freaking controller. And hello again. It's been a bit. Hello. Okay, the canopy. Uh, we are a bit short on time for this, but we can finish this level and then call it. Sure. Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah, this thing is pretty fast, but its attacks are pretty slow. So it is not too much to fear, I believe. I was expecting to get hit there just to be <laughs> proven wrong by the game. Oop. Well, there's the hit. Luckily, we have this purple lum here to just get around. Oop, I think I got a hit on, on the, the, the cage in the back there. Ow. Okay, there we go. And yeah, the sound of this isn't a pretty short loop. Wait, I thought I broke you already. There we go, 27. And yeah, the damn thing actually follows us here as well. There we go. You know the platform challenge? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what he means with that is that it goes that the room is a cylinder, so you can go back and forth between sides of it. And hello. I guess that's pretty. Hmm. Uh, all right. I think I see see what it means now. Yeah, that does make sense. 
I don't see that in many games, but I usually feel... Okay. That's it. In most games, they usually come off a bit annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I can't remember that happening too much either. Let's see. Imprisoned here is public enemy number two. His rain downs led to the roasting of several brave robo pirate comrades. <laughs> You want to voice go blocks or shall I? Uh, let you. <laughs> yeah, Raymond is the greatest. <laughs> and yeah, in this level, and I'm not sure if many others, uh, we'll be going along with Glowbox, or well, Glowbox will be following along with us because he can do stuff like this. There, from back with his head. Yeah, his eyes are on top of his head. Uh, oh yep. no, his I eyes can't... are flat. Yep. On those earth. Okay, that that's a bit bad design. Illusion, the flat the thing he done for that just looks unnerving. Let's see. Yeah, just have to wait for Glowbox again. And that spawns that. Okay, let's try and not miss many of these <laughs> lumps. Because we've already missed one. But then again, maybe it'd be a good idea for me to skip one lump per level just so we don't so we don't have to go into the bonus levels. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Atreus, his eyes are always looking at you due to the uh, in that uh, flat picture uh, thingy. So no matter where you are on camera, it's always looking at the camera. It's... This can be a good thing on some cases when done right. In this case, I feel like there they should we... have not done it. Oh. Uh, bandits that we can break. So Glowbox can cross along as well. Come along, blue boy. Yeah, Glowbox is a character... I don't actually know if many people like or dislike him. Oh, well, here we need his help again. Oh yeah, Glowbox is just a big ass goofball. And he has rain dancer as well. And a coward because well <laughs> he hides at the sight of them. Then again, he was brave enough to let himself be captured. Well, when it was a purpose to it. <laughs> He is also not the brightest. <laughs> Lee gave me lumps to make your fist stronger. He said, press space longer to make your shot stronger. Hitting space press makes my shot stronger? Okay. Yeah, on the controller, it's X. Uh, and here comes trouble. And he takes <laughs> off like a rocket. That face. But yeah, now we can charge up our shots. And yeah, we will need... Oh. Okay, instead of being smart... <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, this one has a lot of... This one has stronger shots. Okay. Just gotta wait for it to stop moving, because these shots do not chase or anything. There we go. And instead of just continuing to bombard us with the warship, they just send out one idiot to try and fight us. Okay. Now we need to go get blow... Yeah, blow box, glow box back. There we go. And yeah, we... Come on, go. For a moment I thought he was walking back. Uh, we've that... passed two hours now, but we're going to keep going until we are done with this level. Yeah, and that camera sound sounds like a damn cell phone. <laughs> okay. I don't think the rest of this level is too long, but we'll find that out. And I say, I'm sure he's cowardly for he has rusted them. So he must probably game him in number two after all. Yeah. yeah. He just can't stand in a direct fight, I presume. Mostly from, uh, yeah, stealth. He'd he'd be able to do that. Uh, it just it just means that he can't turn on camera when it. Uh, uh, at some areas. Yeah, like here. Okay, gotta wait for Glowbox again for a moment. The reason we want him to do that is because if we get close here, the door shuts. But if we just go in here... <laughs> oh dear. Identification underway. Everything's okay. It's just a big nose bush. <laughs> Door inactivated. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. And then don't relax a gob. I can't come with you. My darling Uglet uh, wants to see me. So yeah, that's the Uglet. end of this. <laughs> Well, he has kids, so of course he has to have a wife. <laughs> yeah, but... Uglet. <laughs> it sounds so um, mean. Missed some... Mr. Cage missed some lums. But again, we don't want to get into boat in his levels because they were just destroyed my controller. Um, Whale Bay. We'll have to call it there, so let's put up a save just to be certain. And return to the main uh, return to the main menu. Yes. Also, this here, I'm using a I'm using a fix called well the Ray 2 fix, so that I can run the game in windowed mode. And well, without this, the game wouldn't really start up anyways. So if you want if you want to play Rayman 2 on GOG, uh, look up the Ray 2 fix. Also. Uh, I probably should have asked this earlier, but uh, Atreus, how is the audio level? Uh, we're not getting drowned out by the game or otherwise the other way around? Um, yeah, let's just exit the game. Saves on exit. Okay, audio is good. Lovely. There we go. And let's move to our end screen. And in the meantime, uh, there's the cursor, okay. Return all of this here, and let's go look for someone to raid. Because I should be I leaving in about 20 minutes. Let's see. Pagsicle is playing Sea of Thieves. And I'll need to move the camera. Actually, I don't need to move the camera. I can just, <laughs> I can just make the browser smaller. Let's see. Uh, Pagsicle, yeah. Uh, is playing Sea of Thieves. Um, drawing a bit of a blank on who that is. I'm. Mm, are they the one affiliated with the Yawks cast? I, I'm, I forget. Might have been someone oh, sure. else. And let's see. Nobody else that I know of is on is on at the moment. So let's look at the other well, the recommended channels. 
we have uh, let's see Kemi Kemik Zeal who is playing Koromon with a C. So hmm. Can't say I know with that. Uh then there's I for Scotland playing Green Hell. And Cypher of Tear. Yeah, Cypher of Tear who is streaming Saints Row. And between two gays is streaming or are streaming Curse to Golf. <laughs> Any of those sound interesting to you? Oh, really? Okay. I'm sure. Uh, let me mute the site so I, there's no <clears throat> echoing going on. And yeah, might as well might might as well raid Paxical. My I might jog my memory of who they are. So just copy the name, go to the channel, and slash raid. There we go. Okay. Uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And uh, thank you, Atreus, for chatting along. It, this is a really nice game. And yeah, I, I hope you aren't done to it, with it too fast. I'm thinking we can probably get four to six streams out of this. Uh, but we'll see. And, uh, yeah, of course, <laughs> and of course, as always, thank you as well, Rakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. Uh, we've had two mainstream main week streams uh, today. You know, not today, this week. So next time we'll be streaming uh, Shantae again, probably finishing up that game, and yeah, then we'll have to see when we can stream again and what we will be streaming. Probably, uh, if it probably won't actually, I'll need to check my uh, schedule. I we won't be able to do a showcase Sunday, but we might be able to do a different stream then. All right. But for now, then, uh, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for elephants. <laughs>